God took care of Ruth and Naomi, so I know he'll take care of me and my homies. Welcome, everybody, to the Jay Sadie Variety Show, and praise the Lord. Well, howdy, everybody. I'm Jay Sadie Gray, and I am here with my sister, Lenny. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, today, we're going to talk about who wrote the book of Ruth. But first... We have the Saddleback Kids singing Samuel's song. Let's meet Samuel. Definite, but Jewish tradition believes that Samuel wrote the book of Ruth. It was important to write this historical book for the people of Israel since King David came from the lineage of Ruth. But most important was Jesus came from Ruth's direct lineage. So, who was Samuel? Well, in the Bible, it tells us of a woman who was barren. She had prayed to have a child and promised God that if he would give her a child, she would give the child back to him when the child was of age. And God gave her a baby boy. His name was Samuel. And when he grew to the right age, she gave him to Eli, the prophet of God. Samuel grew up to become a prophet himself. And God used him to do great things. Samuel anointed Saul to be the first king of Israel. Then he anointed King David, who was a man after God's own heart. God used Samuel because Samuel wanted to do God's will. His mother said Samuel was God's. And Samuel said that he himself belonged to the Lord. Do you want to do God's will? 
Do you want to belong to the Lord? Well, if so, just pray this prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, please forgive me of my sin. I believe that Jesus is your son and that he died on the cross and he rose from the dead. Please make me what you will. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, here is Randy Wathrell singing Sanctuary. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be
please call a born-again loved one and tell them the good news. Lenny and I found out that if we read our Bible daily, our faith keeps getting stronger and stronger. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, we've got a poem for you by Deborah Ann, and it's titled, I'm All Yours, Lord. Lord, I'm all yours. Do with me what you will. But first, Lord, help me to trust and be still. Open up my eyes so that I may see all that you have waiting just for me. Take me into places I've not been before. Guide me along the path leading to life evermore. Let my ears hear your voice deep inside in your loving calmness. Teach me how to abide. Lord, I'm all yours today and tomorrow too. Though it may be painful, I want to get closer to you. Well, Lenny, it looks like we're about out of time. Isn't that right? That's right, Sadie. And we thank you for listening. And we have you in our prayers. And look up our monthly blog on our website, jsadiegray.com. And gray is spelled G-R-A-Y. And we're going to leave you now with Reverend Clay Evans singing, I'm yours, Lord. And have a blessed week. I'm yours, Lord. Everything I've got. Everything I am. Everything I'm not. I'm yours, Lord. Try me and see. See if I can be completely yours.
On behalf of Lenny and myself, J. Sadie Gray, let's pray that soon the sun will rain. God bless you all in Jesus' name.